Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. We're over here at Facebook where uh, Radchick Radiation Research and Mitigation has just posted a photo and, and description that I want to read to you. Um, and I'm going to make a prediction of my own uh, here that uh, in Illinois around the first of the new year we're going to see a nuclear event. And uh, the reason I think that is because of this post uh, the rad chick was g good enough to post for us. Illinois residents who live within a 10-mile radius of one of the state's six nuclear plants can get pills to protect themselves from radiation in case of an accident. The Illinois Emergency Management Agency announced today that potassium iodide pills will be available for the residents of more than 60,000 homes near the plant. Now, I'm going to assume most of you didn't even know there were six nuke plants in Illinois, even if you are an Illinois resident. But anyway... The vouchers will be distributed in the mail by mid-December. Potassium iodide protects the thyroid gland from the effects of radioactive iodine, which could be released in the event of a nuclear accident. In addition, the Quad Cities generating plant near Cordova, Illinois, had nuclear plants near Braidwood, uh, Byron, Clinton, Dresden, and LaSalle. I'm going to link you to the link that's here so you can read the story for yourself. I'm also going to link you to uh, Radchick's um, Facebook page and... Uh, advise you to check her out on YouTube and uh, check out her shows which are Tuesday and Thursday from 1 to 2 p.m. at UCY.TV. Now I'm going to link you to all that stuff and I'm going to tell you that uh, this stuff is expensive and one thing I want to point out, we're going to jump over here to my website, uh, there is a petition I'd like everybody to sign um, to get Obama to uh, start monitoring our water and air because of the Fukushima accident. But last year, just after the Fukushima accident, the government was uh, buying up all this potassium iodide. Um, now, you can get it right here on my website, um, you know, if you want uh, to have it. It's good to have some on hand, but you really don't know whether you're allergic to it or not because you've probably never taken it before. So um, I think it's pretty risky to use. I'm going to recommend that everybody... Uh, have this on hand, iodine tincture. Now this will do the same thing the potassium iodide will do. It will flood the thyroid with good iodine so that uh, in a nuclear event the thyroid doesn't suck up radioactive iodine and you just put this iodine tincture on your wrists and or on your neck. It will get absorbed into your bloodstream and protect your thyroid. First of all it's cheaper and it's much safer. Uh, if you were to have any type of reaction, it's going to be on the skin rather than taking the pill internally. But that's up to you. I can't advise you one way or the other because I'm not a doctor. I can just tell you what I know. And also on this page of the website that I'll link you to is all kinds of information uh, that you can read to uh, detox uh, and keep yourself healthy for an accident like this. So that's the heads up, that's my prediction. Uh, with the expense of potassium iodide pills and the fact that they're going to hand them out to 60,000 homes, um, I, you know, nobody does that just in case. Something's coming, they know it's coming, and they know that uh, there's nothing they're going to do about it. So that's just my uh, prediction. Uh, I hope I'm wrong, but you know we've been overdue probably for an accident like this here in the states and if Illinois is handing them out I'm going to assume that something is coming anyway much love all the links will be below in the description